So what's been happening recently is the rhomboid muscles right at my shoulder blades behind the heart. Um, they're often tight and tense and twitchy. Okay. All right. So rhomboid muscles are right here. And when you do this, your rhomboid muscles are the muscles that pull your shoulder blades back together again. So it, they, they, they work this way, all right? So you can feel the tension in the rhomboid muscles. So muscles work in opposition. That's the way medicine describes it, that when you have, and it, it's something easy to understand if you make a muscle, if you make a bicep. This is shortening, this is lengthening. But if you go the other way and you want to uh, tighten this muscle, what you do is you go this way, and weightlifters do this, and this will tighten and this will lengthen. So the same is true front and back. So if these are tightening, this is gonna be opening. So, but they're tightening on their own. It's not like you said, oh, I think I'm gonna use my rhomboids and I'm gonna use them to open up my chest. Oh, that would feel so good, I could breathe again. Instead, they're tight and twitchy. So it's like your body is saying, mm, you've been like this for too long and I'm trying to straighten you up. That in fact, you are a little rounded and hunched over. Many of you have a dowager's hump in the making. Yes. Oh, yes. And um, there's actually, um, um, I don't know if it's a diagnosis, uh, there is, uh, I, th I think they actually, it, they use it as a diagnosis. It's a syndrome, not an illness, not a disease. It's called the head forward syndrome. You all suffer from it because your head is actually supposed to be back here with the top point of your head right in line over the tip of your tailbone. And when this crunches down, then this is going to go forward and your rhomboids are going to tighten up to try and straighten you back. I could just lift and lengthen one side for you so you can see how that comes from your tailbone if you would like to experience that. So come stand up here. Face them. So, collarbones, tops of your shoulders. So, and you can see, you might be able to see, that her right shoulder is a little bit pulled forward this way. See if I can do it with my fingers, if that makes it a little clearer. That you can see that her right shoulder, I'll put brace you here, is like that. And that's very commonly true. Most people, the tailbone is pulled to the left, so you'll counterbalance to the right. Which side would you like to get a little lift and opening on? Okay, so I'm gonna put my hand on your tummy just to brace you so that I can get a little pressure on your sacrum, just a bone in your lower spine and give you a little length on that side. What's happening? And breathe. <laughs> that was very quick. Now I don't know which shoulder will change when I do this side because I don't know what the twists and turns are and which, you know, where it's going to hit her shoulder. Usually it's the opposite shoulder. So I'm doing the left side of her spine, which is over the side I'm standing on, just a little bit more. There we go. And so generally, it's her right shoulder that will change, but I don't know which one has changed. So let's go across the top. Oh. Yeah, your left one opened up. So her right, right shoulder is still forward, but her left one's much ba back and much wider open. So how are your rhomboids feeling in the back? Is there any difference between the two sides? Yeah. What is it? This one feels fine and normal on this one. Let's see if we can make this look a little more even. So she's longer through here on this side than on this side. Turn this way so they can see you. 
See how this is all lifted and open? So when this is pulled down, then the muscles in the back are gonna try and pull back <laughs> like that. <laughs> okay, thank you.